Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain's Living Room. You know, I've been reviewing a lot of Mega Construct sets at the minute, and I just keep on coming back to this energy sword. It makes such a beautiful display piece in the living room, and I just keep on staring at it. So I thought I'd make another video today, the 10 reasons why you need to buy this energy sword. So Peggy and I did a video recently where we unboxed and built it. You should definitely check that one out. And the first thing you actually find when you open this thing up is that it comes with a Halo Infinite game code. This is for some kind of Halo swag that'll be released once Halo Infinite comes out. And I'll be very excited to find out what's inside. Some kind of armor or weapon skin is what I'm thinking. And it's just an extra little bonus. I know you also get this in the Pelican inbound, but it's a very cool feature to add. And the build itself is really what impressed me to begin with. Mega Constructs recently, they just started releasing all their sets in numbered bags. The one we found the most useful was the UNSC Infinity, but even for this one, it comes in like seven or eight numbered bags, and you can follow it step by step. The bags that you open are only the immediate stages of the build that you're doing, and it really speeds up the build like 10 times, and really takes all the sort of annoyance, like the grievance out of building. It's only the pleasure, it's only the enjoyment, it's not all that fiddling around trying to find the right pieces. It definitely works for me. Accompanying this sword is a display stand, which at first you think it's very simple. These pieces just sort of fall in and out. I didn't think it would hold it so well. The sword has a couple of standout single studs, and they actually lock in to the display really well. What may seem as a simple and maybe weak structure, you can clearly see that once it's docked in, that's not going anywhere. And it also has these very nice gem pieces at the bottom. It is a pretty simple, but honestly very effective display. And the way it's got these two logos, Energy Sword and Halo Infinite, in a glossy finish on both sides. You know, the first time when I took this Halo Infinite logo out of the box, I, it was like an emotional thing because Halo Infinite is going to have such serious repercussions in the future. We can't all wait to play it, and to see the logo for the game sort of embossed on this unique set is a really cool thing. Display stand aside now, we're gonna talk about the energy sword. And really the thing that stands out in all angles is this blue effect running up the sword. I talked a lot about it in my previous video, and really it's just the standout feature. Never have I seen such a crazy crackled blue effect that runs all the way through the sword. They could have just gone with a simple translucent blue, but the way they do this makes every single person's energy sword unique to them. The first time I actually saw this effect was with the Halo Infinite Series 1 Blind Bag Elites. They come with these energy swords that have the same kind of blue. I would love to know more about how this blue is made, but the way it like swells and sets through the plastic means that every single energy sword is very unique. This one seems to be almost clear, and this one has some very dark blue elements running through it. So, excellent for a battle, really cool to make all your weapons varied, and how better to show it off than on this energy sword. You can see that some parts towards the bottom, they have this really dark, like dark ocean blue, and then it runs so light and finally right up to the top. I've still got a couple of swirls going on up there, but it's mostly clear. I think it's almost completely clear at some pieces. I mean, it just varies so much and it makes you just stare at the energy sword for long periods of time, which I don't really find with most sets. You know, you build a set, you display it, that's about it. But this one, I keep on going back to it, inspecting it, finding something new. It keeps it very fresh and makes it feel very alive. Complementing this crackled blue effect, is the way that they've smoothed off almost every surface bar the studs that need to hold the display stand. And because of this, you find that everything you can just run your hand across. There are no real edges. It's not very sharp other than maybe at the top, but it's still pretty well rounded off. So yes, I guess safe for kids, but also for a collector, you don't want to see jarring pieces that are sticking out. It's the main complaint I had about the Skiff Intercept set, that it felt like a bit of an empty build. Everything was rough and unsmoothed, but this one, quite the opposite. It feels like the energy is just running in a single direction. It's not cracking off to the sides. It feels very completed 
and a totally finished build. And then one of the main things I saw in the comments of my energy sword build were people were actually very impressed with the size. And honestly, so was I. When you see the box for this set, it doesn't actually seem like it might be that big. But when you build it up, yes, of course, when you're talking about scale, it would not fit an elite's hand and next to a Spartan it would look very small. When we're talking about a human, this is exactly the kind of size I would imagine an energy sword would be. It is just quite a bit longer than my arm's length, the perfect size for me. Maybe for a six and a half foot guy it might feel a bit small, but you know, in terms of the scale of it, I don't mind. I do like on some, say, Lego sets when they put on the display stand the actual scale of the set. That would be pretty cool with this but I don't think the scale will be that far off, and definitely when it comes to the handle, this is perfectly form-fitted for a human. And this little knob here means my fingers just fit snugly around the build, it feels perfect in my hand, and my hand sort of locks into it, it gives it a nice weight, makes it feel like I'm definitely wielding the sword. I, if you can tell, I really like this set. <laughs> I'm a big fan. Holding it all together, sort of rounding it off, is these two translucent pieces. They're also then locked off further with another layer on either side of the blue brick. And they are quite subtle, you don't really notice them. Even in the product packaging, I didn't actually realize it came with these. And when you look at it on a display stand, you don't really notice them either. They just do the job and help strengthen the whole build. Which brings me to my second to last point, this thing is so strong and it's what most reviewers have been complimenting. You can swipe this around, hit it into things, it's strong, like it surprises me. This thing is not gonna break, I know everybody watching this video will be freaking out right now, but it really is very strong, you can swish it about and it's not gonna come apart. Because all you want to do with a sword is slice and dice. You just want to swish that around as much as possible and it's perfect for that. I, th I think it's probably the biggest surprise for me that this thing does not fall apart. Which brings me to my last point. This energy sword alongside this display actually makes for a really nice piece in your living room. And I've talked a little bit about this before, I mentioned it in my Infinity video. You need the occasional piece as a collector that looks good in a house that you share with other people. I'm sure most people can agree with me that their other halves do not collect mega blocks. You know, it's always that even balance in the household. How much stuff can I display and get away with without my girlfriend feeling like I'm just taking over the entire apartment? This is a nice even middle ground. I can display this on my shelf, it doesn't get in the way, it looks very nice, like Peggy's complimented it a few times, and it makes for a great display piece that isn't sort of in your face as much as like displaying 200 figures is. So I think it does give that nice balance between how big is Simon's collection versus how many nice things can Simon display in the apartment. And without further ado, that brings us to the end of the video. I've just listed 10 reasons why I think you need to- 10 reasons why you need to buy the Halo Infinite Energy Sword. And to prove my final point, we're gonna go put it on the display right now, show how good it looks. Thank you very much for tuning in today. This was another video with The Domain. And the Energy Sword is signing off.